on gas gang today we are back with an absolutely crazy video just look behind me we have got the uk's most powerful vw golf r guys this thing is running a big turbo cyvex 750 brake horsepower guys you know this is going to be sick so stay tuned and let's get it Sam, welcome to the channel. Thank you for having me, Jamie. Mate, it's been a long time coming. Yes, it has. <laughs> finally, we made finally, it. Finally, finally, but you know, right time for everything. And um, this car is pretty much in its final state. It is, yes, yeah, I would say that. 750 brake horse, that's, we're saying that's conservative, 750 brake horse. Depending on what transmission losses you account for, it could be 750, it could be 760. Wow, amazing, amazing. And, and that would make it the UK's most powerful stock engine four cylinder Two litre Golf R, because obviously we, we, we know that people put three, uh, five cylinders yes. in them um, and yeah. they are we, one more power. Different league, that altogether. Yeah. Possibly even Europe, I would say. But definitely in the UK, I don't know of anybody else running this kind of power with what we've achieved with this engine and still having um, a four pot two litre. I just want to mention that this, this engine is actually still stock. People's jaws have just hit the floor. <laughs> Not possible. Not Rubbish. possible. Not no. possible. Bro, no. please tell us about this engine. Okay, so the engine we've had, uh, we've been through a few engines. We had to find the right balance of reliability, power, power delivery, all of that. But we found the stock engine performs the best. What's running in this car is an engine from a facelift, a Mark 7.5 Golf. It's a stock engine, but the way we've tuned it, the way we've delivered the power with the Cyvex, the control, the fueling, the air, it, it can do that power. It's Cyvex running the whole show in the car. Uh, it's Storm Developments UK Limited. That's that's the brains behind also, everything. Also, we are making 750, 760 brake horsepower without race fuel. That's correct. That's <laughs> that's that's the most important aspect, right? So when we were tuning the car, we had to look at a lot of the things. I'm not going to go too technical, but exhaust gas temperatures is one of them. You generally find with hybrids that the EGTs peak, and if they're above a thousand degrees, that's sort of dangerous territory. When we were tuning this car, we found the methanol which by the way isn't mapped to the car, it's only there for cooling, we've got plenty of fuel. The methanol itself made such a big difference, and it's a secret sauce methanol. Um, it brought our EGTs down by over 100 degrees, thereby not even requiring ethanol. I mean, we had about 10% in. Uh -huh. I've got flex fuel running in the car, so I can see exactly what percentage of ethanol we're running. Mm -hmm. but we didn't need ethanol, so this bar is purely on pump fuel with meth for cooling. What's, what turbo are you running? So, own developments, it's their own brand called the GBT Turbo or GBT turbos. They do lots of different sizes, different ranges for power. I'm running the 6986, 62 mil turbo, 78 pounds per minute. And it's running a proper, it's a proper full frame. But yeah, it's a GBT 6986. Wow. It's not something you can just buy and whack on. So okay. bear that in mind. <laughs> yeah, bear in mind. In mind. Um, what kind of boost pressure? We have to do it logically. I mean, the lowest is about 1.4 bar which is literally the lowest you can get. It's still above 400 horsepower at that. And then as you go up, and the, the exhaust valves are controlled by the Cyvex as well. So 2.3 bar is where things are loud. The exhaust valves are open. You're above 600 brake. And then the highest I've got is, I call it the kill map. Uh -huh. It's 2.9 bar. Wow. 
Two point nine wow. bar. You're making the full wax seven hundred and fifty. I would say, but I do have a slightly toned down two point seven bar version, okay. and you're still around seven twenty break at that. That's incredible. So fueling is really important. That's how you make your par. So in order to get par, you have to have air, and you have to have your fuel. Air we've sorted with a massive whopper of a turbo. Fueling we do not maximize the DI, the direct injectors. Remember these cars, or at least the, the Mark 7s, the newer Mark 7.5s don't have port injectors. They don't even have the rails, some of them. These ones, Mark 7s, they do have a port injection rail. So they come with eight injectors from factories. So what we've done is we've maximized the port injection. That's the only safe way to make big power mm -hmm. because you've got injection windows and stuff. And basically we've, we're running massive Porsche injectors. We're running them at a higher pressure. So our entire low pressure fuel rail has been upgraded. We're running some really trick fuel pumps. And a lot of people get a high pressure fuel pump and they try and maximize the direct injection. That's when it gets hot. So you have to get the fuel temperature. You have to keep that in mind. So big port injectors. We've also upgraded the, the DI injectors as well. Mm -hmm. So upgraded injectors all along, a trick fueling system, upgraded fuel lines to run ethanol. And uh, that's pretty much fueling. Moving away from the engine onto the gearbox. Any mods there? The gearbox is, I would say, um, it is, it, you have to, you have to brief well, you have to strengthen it. So it's running the APR clutch packs. They're one of the early ones. They seem to be holding up okay, so I've never bothered changing them. Uh, they seem to be holding up the torque. By the way, it's making oodles of torque. It's like 900 something Newton meter. Wow. Uh, 960, <laughs> um, 70, which is about 680 foot pounds. Nice. This is crank, not wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, wheels, it's making 812 wheel Newton meter. So you add 15% to that and you get your crank. Yeah. Um, so the clutches are APR. They call, used to call them stage three, mm -hmm. and it's also running an accompanying APR stage three TCU to you know software for the gearbox. Cool. So um, moving out to the exterior of the car, do you just want to give us a quick run through of your wheels, brakes, and suspension setup? Absolutely. So the wheels are my favorite. It's a company called New Speed. They're flow forged. It's an American company. I have been running their wheels on most of my cars over the years. These ones are special. These are the New Speed RSE 102s, and they're 19 by eight and a half, and they weigh 9.1 kilos. Okay. So they're really light and the brakes, I've got a brand new setup up front. It's a Brembo 8-pot setup, which is what you find on the RS cars mostly. So 8-pot Brembo uh, uh, calipers, custom colored yellow to match the accents and the theme <laughs> going on here and uh, running alongside our Ferodo DS2500s. The discs are really special. It's a company called DBA. Um, disc Brakes Australia. They make some really nice replacements for OE discs, lightweight, a lot of extra features built in for cooling, directional cooling. So these are the two-piece discs, 370 by 32. So they're not the heaviest, they're about 11 kilos, I would say. Okay. So they're on the lighter side. Just by comparison, a stock 370 mil disc is about 16 kilos. So wow. these are quite a bit Good lighter. Saving. I'm also running two-piece discs on the back. Yep. Um, they are the racing line two-piece discs. So suspension is important. To put all this power down, you do need to have compliance. You do need a good suspension. I've been through a few different coilovers, but at the moment what I've fixed on is what I really liked of all of them and what I'm running now is the Bilstein B16 ride control. Alongside, we've got a load of other suspension tricks. We've got alloy arms, we've got engine mounts, Super Pro all around. We've got bushes from Super Pro. We've got anti-roll <laughs> bars from h and um, some other tricks as well, but suspension is fully sorted. It doesn't need anything else. Amazing, amazing. Wow, this got, yeah, fully sorted. Uh, <laughs> and then moving on to the interior, I mean, it doesn't stop. Do you want to give us a quick run through, uh, if you can do? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's quite a lot here going on in the interior. So I've got custom trimmed wing back seats. Uh, this work was done by Optimus Trimmers in Scotland. It's got gloss black backs and it's got the Alcantara inserts, diamond stitching with the yellow accents. It's got a virtual cluster a virtual dash from the new facelift Golf Mark 7.5. This was bought brand new, so it matches the car's mileage. We also have an uprated infotainment. This is the MIB 2.5, as they call it. Again, from a facelift Golf uh, Mark 7.5. The climate control panel is from a facelift Tig one. You won't even find these in Golfs. They never came yeah, yeah, with Golfs. Yeah. And it's all capacitive, it's all touch, and it's fully functional, including the heated seats, uh, the clean air function and all of that. I have an AEM fail-safe meth gauge. It's more than a meth gauge because you can custom calibrate this using software. You can change the background lighting colors and you can have this alert you to various things, low fluid level, etc. So there's the meth gauge. And then the start of the, 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 start of the show is the Toucan display. Yes. This connects to the Cyvex over canvas and it relays every single piece of information about the car, your temperatures, your pressures, your boost, your speeds, 
uh, your gears, whether you are in launch control mode, anti-lag, you name it. This will show you all of that information, including your ethanol content as well. Got you. All right, bro, that is a lot. I mean, look, we could talk for weeks about this yeah. car. I know you're very passionate about this car and have been, and you've been a long time owner also. Um, and before we do hit the road, I thought it's, it, I thought it's worth mentioning, obviously, this is, this is actually the end of the road for you and this car, right? Yes, unfortunately so. Um, so the car has been sold or yep. you will see this car in yep. the very near future. I'll let you yep. disclose that bit. Yep. Um, so yeah, we'll be, we won't be going ham on this today, yep. but we'll still have fun. Yep. And it's a bittersweet end for me because I've loved this car. I've had it for five years. Yep. Every single mod to this car has been in my ownership. Um, and I've literally built it from the ground up. Mm -hmm. A lot of experience learning in the process. But yeah, there comes a point in time in life where you've got to move on. And I think for me, that's, that's, that's come. That's come, yeah. Well, hopefully this will be a fitting end to the car. And um, yeah, basically, I'll just give the people a little bit of a taste for it, but you can or will be able to win this car. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about that in, uh, yeah, on, on the road, I think. Okay. So uh, yeah, bro, uh, nothing left to do but hit the road, I guess. Absolutely, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> So we are out in the UK's most powerful Volkswagen Golf R. Now, we, we, we done the initial chat. We could have spoke forever. I said we, Sam could have spoke forever about this car because he is proper, he's a scientist when it comes to this platform. He knows these things inside and out. So we have skipped over a few things. So what I will say is full spec will be in the description. We've missed a lot. But basically, I thought for anyone who might want to kind of aim towards a similar build, a similar power, or perhaps anyone out of curios curiosity who wants to know how much this build costs. Do you mind enlightening us? Yeah, sure. So obviously you've got to factor in the price of the car. Yep. Mine cost me about 35 grand in 2016. Right. In total, I would say between 55 to 60 grand. Okay, so, on to so we're talking... Plus 35. Plus 35, about 90 grand. <laughs> so around 90 grand to get here, but what a car, yes. right? Totally worth it. <laughs> You're saying now we are on kill map or one one below the Two, kill? 2.9 bar. 2.9 bar. This is max, so this should give us everything it's got in the tank. Of okay. course, you factor in everything. Yep. That's the target boost level, and if it can safely do so, because Cyvex has so many safeties built in, yeah. it wouldn't let you destroy anything, of course. even if you want to. Yeah. So um, let's okay. feel that, bro. So let's uh, let's shift down second. Yeah, man. Let's do it. This is a weapon. This is a weapon. It definitely gives more boost in third. I'm sure about it. Well, to be honest. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and the wastegate when you're coming off yes. the throttle too, man. <laughs> experiencing this is how it feels on a passenger seat <laughs> throughout like second gear yeah it doesn't feel like we're getting as much boost up top of the rev range as we are in like third and fourth yeah. because the more you power on the faster this car is getting like i don't know that sounds like obvious yeah. but no like the boost feels like it's coming in stronger and the way it pulls bro it gets warp speedy up the top of the, the rev range like <laughs> This is 
sports zone, so it's short shifting. So we're not shifting at 7.4, we're short, we're short shifting. <laughs> Sam is just so composed. Oh my god, guys, this car is crazy. And the pops between shifts, bro, the prop is sharp, man. We're not even on anti lag. Oh I'll, I'll, my god. I'll give you a glimpse of anti lag. Okay, cool. All right. You hear that? Anti lag, yeah, yeah. And with the sound, oh, that sounds angry. So if you were behind <laughs> this car at this point, yeah. you'd be shooting flames. It's a, oh, okay, it's a flamethrower, yeah. On this map, yep. it is. Okay, so 750 brake horsepower, go far. Bro, a lot of people are going to be thinking, no, zero to 60, what's going on? Well, unfortunately guys, um, or fortunately, I, I don't know, it depends how you look at it. Um, we did say at the beginning, Sam, Sam is actually gonna be moving on from this car and um, my good friend or my friend that uh, actually raffled my RS5 from VAG Recycle, Anton, has actually bought this car. Um, He's actually changed the name now, so it's actually, instead of VAG Recycle, it's Level Up Giveaway, so shout out to those. Um, and you can basically win this car. Now, links will be in the description. Um, however, we don't want to do a 060 just in case. We don't want to rag, like someone's going to yeah. win the car, we don't want to rag it too much. That's it, so that's, that's an explanation. So guys, you can win this car, shout out to Level Up Giveaways, links in the description. But um, yeah, we're just going to get rolling. Um, and just pull away. You may find it a bit too sensitive, but okay. throttle is... Oh, it is? Wow. You can that think is... that through Cybex. So that's been adjusted. Bro, been I adjusted. Am, I'm thinking about touching the throttle and it's, and it's moving. Yeah, Wait, and this I mean? is not even on boost. Wow, that is so pinpoint. So it's great for wow. daily driving, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get by with this. Mate, I am feathering the throttle. Yeah. Just about resting my foot on it. That is so precise. That is crazy. All right, cool. All right, first gear now. Let's get it. boost bro this is it all right guys so we're gonna try rolling anti-lag right now so 4,000 rpm second gear hold this button here floor it then let go yeah all okay. right cool so hold it floor it and let go boost coming in now Isn't it? Cybex, you can just put See? all of these things in, man. Oh man, yeah, this is this is epic. I've all never experienced that as a passenger. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. So we drop it down into second, yeah. Anti lag map. All right, let's get it. some rolling launch. All right, cool. Hold it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. It's got all the toys. Third gear. Rolling launch. And we're off. <laughs> what the hell, bro? <laughs> this car is drama. the UK's most powerful four pot VW Golf R. There you have it. Bro, thank you so much for coming down and experiencing it. Oh, uh, let me experience this. Um, yeah, just a crazy experience. The way it's been mapped and the way the boost comes in, all the toys, the rolling anti-lag. Bro, everything here is just drama. I love it, absolutely love it. And the drivability too, like, yeah, you know what I mean? It's such a car, such a car. Comfortable, brakes are good. It's That's just, it. as you've experienced oh, very it, very well-rounded. Aircon's package. nice, you know, it's, it's just, just a, 
it. If you're chilling it. Bro, please give your shout outs to whoever you want to shout out. So my Instagram is sam.7r just adopt sam.7r so you can see the build history and everything if you like obviously a big shout out to storm developments for all the work they've done the cyvix the mapping uh, mark tate from mts detailing he's the detailer that looks after the car shout out to him and uh, yeah all of the suppliers all of the people we work with renegade for supplying their special source methanol and ethanol fuels yep. so alex um, and all of my storm crew kiran luke Jim, everybody, you know who you are. <laughs> but yeah, so, that's it. Wicked. And guys, I'll leave the full this, uh, the full spec of this car in the description. And don't forget, you can now win this car. Shout out to Level Up Giveaways, $9.99 a ticket. Hit the links in the description. They're not going to hang around long. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this one. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.